For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, we have a system of chords sustaining the weight of a lamp and they're asking us find the tension developed in each chord for equilibrium if the lamp was to weigh 20 kilograms and the second one they tell you each of the chords can sustain a maximum of 400 newtons what's the maximum mass that the lamp can have so to do this problem i like to solve all the forces for the terms of the mass and i think that's the that's a very good technique i'll show you how to do it so first you have this tension right here going down and you have this weight this weight is given by the mass times the acceleration of gravity the acceleration of gravity being 9.81 meters per second square since we're in the metric system right now so this is 9.81 times the mass that's the weight you know that the tension being developed from in df is the same as the weight there's nothing else so df is equal to 9.81 times the mass now you know that right here at D assuming this orientation assuming X is going to the right and Y is going up you have this force DE and this force CD so at D sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero for equilibrium and you know that DF coming down so it's minus DF plus the tension DE times the sine of 30 is equal to 0 so if you solve for the E you get that the E is equal to DF over the sine of 30 which is equal to 9.81 times the mass because that's DF we found it right here divided by the sine of 30 so in conclusion DE is equal to 19.62 times the mass in the same also at D we know that the sum of the forces in the X is equal to 0 as well so CD going straight to the left plus DE times the cosine of 30 is equal to 0 so when you solve for CD you get that CD is equal to DE times the cosine of 30 but we know that DE is 19.62 times the mass so 19.62 times the cosine of 30 is equal to 17 times the mass so that's the tension in CD now here at C we have a force going to the right which we just found a force going up and a force going down the force going to the right is CD at 17 times the mass so at C sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero so you got cd going to the right minus ca times 3 over 5 minus cb times the cosine of 45 so when you clean this this equation up you get 0.6 ca plus 0.707 cb is equal to CD I replace it for 17 times the mass so we have an equation with three variables CA, CB and the mass also at C you know that the sum of the forces on the Y is equal to zero and in the Y we have CA times 4 over 5 minus CB times sine of 45 is equal to 0 so when you clean this up you get that this is equal to 0.8 CA minus 0.707 CB is equal to 0 and let me scroll down slightly so I have more space so I have another equation let's call this equation 1 and this equation 2 I'm gonna write equation 1 right below equation 2 again just rewriting the equation 0.6CA plus 0.707CV is equal to 17 times the mass so I'm just gonna add the equations together 0.8 plus 0.6 is equal to 1.4CA 
minus 0 0.707 plus 0 0.707 cancels out and 0 plus 17 times the mass is 17 times the mass so you solve for CA and you get that CA is equal to 12.14 that's a point right there times the mass and when you plug this into equation 2 it's easier to plug it into equation 2 you get that CB is equal to 13.74 times the mass now we have the tension developing all the cables in terms of the mass we have uh, CB, CA, CD, DE and here at the top I did DF let me come back down all right so now we can solve both of these problems really 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 easily the first problem says that the lamb weights 20 kilograms right so if the mass if the mass of the lamp is 20 kilograms then df is equal to 9.81 times the mass which comes out to be 196.2 newtons so basically you're just plugging in the mass of 20 kilograms into each of the tensions that we just found de is 19.62 times the mass which is 392.4 newtons cd comes out at 340 newtons ca comes out at 242.8 newtons and cb comes out at 274.8 newtons that's it that's the first problem that we found in seconds with all this information the second problem they tell you that the tension on each of the cables cannot exceed 400 newtons so as you can see we have everything in terms of the mass so they're easy to compare this is 9.81 times the mass this is 19.62 times the mass etc etc so what you can do is you can sort them from the biggest to the smallest and that gives you more information about the system you know that DE is the biggest then go CD then go CB then go CA and then goes DF so they tell you that the maximum can be 400 newtons you know that the maximum is being held by DE because it's the biggest so DE is equal to 400 newtons you also know that DE is equal to we found right here 19.62 times the mass and that is equal to 400 newtons so if you divide 400 by 19.62 you found the maximum mass that the lamp can be and the, that mass happens to be 20.4 kilograms the reason why I like to do problems this way is because if somebody was to ask you further questions about the system or you needed more and more information for another problem or for whatever reason if you were in the field you'll be able to come back here and you basically have it in a way where you can find more information in seconds so final answer for the mass and final answer for the tensions developed at each of the cables please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you